When I think about the research that I'm getting to be a part of at Penn State, it's really exciting for me because I know that what I'm finding and what I'm discussing with my professors is real and has real implications on the species that I'm working with. Some of the things that really differentiate the wildlife and fisheries program here are um, not only the faculty and sort of the, the groundbreaking work that the faculty are doing, but the way in which students get involved in that work. In our program, students will really learn some of the empirical methods that are important from a, a population management point of view, but they'll also gain exposure to some of the molecular tools uh, and some of the other sort of tracking tools using GPS technology that are really instrumental in informing how we manage populations, how we understand them, and we're using tools that um, are, are really cutting edge and, and some of our faculty are even developing methods that are pushing those boundaries and allowing us to do more with those tools. Ultimately, the reason I chose the Wildlife and Fisheries program and the Fisheries Science concentration is just because of a, a passion for the conservation of fish and wildlife I've had for my entire life. It's just something that I've always cared a lot about and it's something that I knew I wanted to pursue in both my education and my career. Honestly, it wasn't until coming to Penn State and entering the major that I really started to get a lot of experience out in the woods and learning these different skills needed for the profession of wildlife and fishery sciences. So it played a, a big role in my experience because I feel like it gave me a sense of confidence um, that I could go out and apply the skills that I was learning both in the classroom but as well as in labs. This is a major where you can come in and you can feel prepared knowing what you're doing and be prepared when you come out the other end knowing you can make a difference and find a career for yourself. As an environmental educator at the Ned Smith Center, our goal is to take both the arts and nature and put them together uh, to educate kids about each. So when we, when we think about what's going on in the world and how that interacts with our major specifically, or even the work that's happening across the College of Agricultural Sciences, um, there's a lot of, uh, I would say there's a lot of changes happening right now. People are becoming uh, more aware of the need for, uh, you know, robust climate solutions, robust energy solutions, uh, and ways in which we can be do a better job protecting biodiversity. So all those things are becoming more at the forefront of what's important in our society. And so that means that there's a lot of really exciting jobs. And also, if you put the tools that you get in our major together in different ways, you're going to be prepared to kind of um, uh, bring value and answer some of these important evolving questions as they come out of our society. Um, conservation is incredibly important, maintaining biodiversity is incredibly important, and training um, young people to go into the world and, and fight for these causes and, and work in this field is not only important, like I said, to people within the field, but to the whole world and communities.